welcome back to round six. We're at six now, are we, Samit? Yes, yeah. round six, round final six, round before the cut. Final round of the Swiss at the PTL Open 3. I'm your host, R5 Dom4, and Samit. I'm really just the guest host. This is the Samit Vat show. <laughs> ah, sure, I'll take <laughs> sure, it. Yeah. I'll take it. You're going right. to give me that entry, I'll take it. All right, so we've got a <clears throat> former PTL Open Two champ. Well, I guess he's he's the current Robin, reigning champion. Current reigning defending champion. Yes, he's the defending champion. Robin uh, here. And uh, Robin decided to go with the theme of I'm going to play all Han Solo lists. Yes. Han Solo's in three different factions. I'm going to play Han Solo in three different factions. I, he's got two ship Han Solo, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, in got every a, single he's got list. A, not two ship. I mean, this one he's got a three. I well, mean, technically, if you count, if you it starts little, as two. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we'll give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. But it's cool. <clears throat> uh, so right now he's playing uh, the scum version. So scum Han with trick shot and L3 and Kira and Dengar gunner engine upgrade Lando's Falcon title. Uh, so with the. Dengar, yeah. this is a really, really good card. I really like that, especially on Hand Gunner. So if you shoot mm -hmm. at Han and he's got you in arc, yep. you've either got his spend a green token or he rolls an attack die and you take a damage. Right, okay. Hit. So such a good card. And it really catches a lot of players off guard. Like, oh, we don't see that gunner often. You don't see that gunner because, you know, it's six points. Yeah. And people are like, well, you know, it's not, it's not either veteran turret gunner yeah. or... Han Gunner, that's don't true. even know it exists. That's true. And that's actually quite a good yeah. card. And then Kira is able to, with Han Solo, his ability of adding or getting double. It's really weird synergy there. Uh, so Kira, if you lo have a locked yep. rock, you just ignore it. Exactly. You know, and so he could sit on a rock. So, and lots of... <laughs> that's really like great for play. Obstacles. It's great for placement option. It's great for an engagement. You can lock a rock uh, that you know you want to fly through. Yep. Or if you're needing, trying to escape, uh, yep. it's interesting like that. And then, um, yep. what else you got? The, fa the Falcon title makes sense because he's got a yep. docked Lando. Yep. And he's got... And then that just it gives him added added damage if in case against stressed enemies, one more yep. damage. So Han is got the trick shot. So he's potentially shooting out those six die yes. smoking hot, the now maximum damage. You can possibly do like they put out the new rule. You most of you knew is six, right? Yeah. No more trying to engineer it. No more Jury seven, eight, nines to a, to a with nine. Jan yeah, let's and, see if we yeah. can like do a nine dice yeah. attack. Let me try that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and you paired that up with uh, the Lando nose cone, the escape shuttle. Yeah. Give them a, a little bit extra, and then Fen Rao. Now, am I mistaken? Mistaken in remembering you get to use Lando's ability while he's docked, correct? Or no? Uh, I don't know. You don't. You just no, get to use their no, shields in hull. No. You as can you. use the shields. Yeah. You can use the shields, but you can't use the ability. The ability. It's okay. Like technically off the board. Right. That makes sense. And then uh, his opponent, we've got Mark A. All right. Time has started, and uh, so Mark, known as a Mr. T seventy around these parts. Oh yeah. And he's uh, he's playing Elo, Nian, and Tally and Greer. So yep. he's got two T seventies. Two RZ twos. You can see Mark actually flying uh, one of the painted chip prizes that we gave away in the yeah. first round. Yeah, that really uh, nice alt painted looks really good. Well, the pri prizing support it has always, as always, has been insane. We uh, it's so handful insane. of that prize table is bananas. Buckets of acrylic and yeah. prizes that were brought back from worlds and painted so ships every round. Much, so much and so much from other communities. Which donating. is the best part? Yeah. It's We've great. got all these incredible alt arts from other squads, and it's really, really fun to kind of collect cross squad uh, alt arts. Yeah. So the thing with the Han and the uh, what I, I flew a little bit of Fen Han, and it, he really does need those obstructions because it's like yeah. you either get four dice, five yeah. dice, or two, yeah. and it feels real bad. Yeah, I've been playing with. Uh, I was playing for a little while what it was called garbage can Han. Okay, so it was Han with Jabba the Hut, nice and, rig cargo shoot, and the rig cargo yes. shoot. So he's just Dumping all of them all over the place. I love it was just that. Like, it was so ridiculous. Was I love like, that. But really, it just it just wouldn't work so good. You know, you know kudos to Robin for you know bringing uh, you know not considered a optimal <laughs> ship at all. No, this was the ship not flown at Worlds. Nobody, yeah. nobody, nobody brought at World brought a brought a YT scum. Is that the only ship that was no, never there were, flown? There okay, were a couple of them. Okay. There were a couple of them. 
Uh, I don't believe that there were any YT scum. They were rebel Hans. Oh, yeah. There was there was a couple that weren't. I can't really recall off the top of my head. Yeah, there were there were a few, but it was just no, like but no. Duncan had a Punisher. Definitely bottom of the pack. Yeah, no. Punisher is definitely was really good, well yeah. represented. It's yeah. still Punisher in two point oh is a crazy good ship. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's just switched over to Death Ray now instead of uh instead of um yeah. Redline. Yeah. So setting up looks like. Robin's completely split it up. He's going to make it, uh, Mark, make a choice. This outmaneuver on Fen is hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy because you can, you can get some pretty intense two ship Han builds in the other versions of Han, but yeah. the scum Han is one of the hardest ones to really beef up. So yeah. uh, again, kudos to Robin to flying a very unique and interesting yeah. set of lists at the tournament in true champ, in true champ faction. Yeah. And so, yeah, so the build He's the model. He's actually got the nose cone in the model. A mm -hmm. lot of people don't know if they've never seen that ship on the board, that yeah. that nose cone actually comes out and is an independent ship on its own. It's actually a well, fantastic model. It's it's a good model, and it's an awesome ship. It gets way more play than uh, than the Han Fa than the Scum true. Falcon. That's just, true. It's like, yeah, I'll use that ship all the time. The Scum Falcon, nah, not so much. But it's a really good ship because it's got the it's got the coordinate. Yeah. And uh, But Robin said, yeah, I'm not even going to... It's just, I'm going to keep that docked whole game, you know, but it, we might see it pop out when you don't have to, because if he, if they blew up on, it's going to just emergency Eject anyways. exit, yeah. yeah, which will be, if he's already lost his shields, he'll just get a crit if he has to emergency exit. Yeah, which he could get directed <laughs> and blow up anyways. Yeah. I, I mean, I think, I think really it's there for the points and the shields. Yeah. And it looks like there we are. So he's jumping over there. Yeah. Because it really makes Hana super beefcake. Yeah. And it looks like Mark wants to take it, take the attack to Han yeah. as oh, fast yeah. as possible. Oh yeah, He's especially if you can, if you can engage a Han in the open. Oh yeah, that's where you get him. Yeah, but in order to do that, he's got to expose his flank yeah. to outmaneuver Fen, which is with, spooky. Uh, cautious with Fen out there, he's not going to overcommit. He's got the engine upgrade on him, so he can do the white boost if mm -hmm. he wants. But at this point, he's just locking that rock so he can... Fly over if he wants to. Yeah, don't have to worry about it. And also, both of these guys are doing really well. But uh, from this matchup, the result of this game will determine whether these guys make the top eight cut. Yeah, we wanted to bring you... A, we always like to do that near the end rounds to try to find yep. games that are super tight. Yeah, so really good. Really uh, great of everybody to be so cooperative with just going on stream. Some people, you know, might get a little bit hesitant mm -hmm. to be have their game documented <laughs> or, you know, feel feel the heat of the, the cameras, the lights. But it's, it's always just really good, you know, for everybody at home that's, you know, not able to come to these events. There's a lot of people that, you know, big X-Wing fans or they're just getting into the game. Mm -hmm. They want to know more about what they can you know what what to expect what to try out some neat combinations so stream content is you know and videos online that's really incredibly important to the industry oh sorry to yeah, the communities the community yeah. yeah and thank you to everybody else out there that does it as well we appreciate everything that you do so nian being the star a bunch of fives and we're only we were we we're one five short of the resistance fives here so uh <laughs> but i'm i mean greer is a great choice greer is so i love good. yeah greer is incredibly incredibly good i mean there does not exist a bad rz2 they're all fantastic um yeah. elo is always awesome uh, he's always fun to fly uh nice and lean doesn't need much nian nub also pretty lean all things considered doesn't have the black one yeah. doesn't have any of the shenanigans yeah. but Mark's keeping it pretty lean all around, but you know he's got those essentials. He's got the heroic staple yep. to every resistance pilot. I mean, I just thought all ships automatically came with heroic. I didn't know there was any other option, as you guys will know from our system open series. Yeah. How I feel about heroic. Yeah, so. I feel very strongly about it. <laughs> with the feels. Yep, it's so, for yeah. feelers. So yeah, so just like yeah, just take the stapler, just mm -hmm. staple on heroic, staple mm -hmm. on the S foils. Uh, and pattern analyzer is something that you know Mark is made really good use of with his experience with the T70s. Yeah, I mean it does make sense to have it stapled to the end because you get the he's the only one that can really take advantage of that tricksy way to get two actions, I believe, right? With uh, a pattern. 
Because when he stresses himself, the pattern yeah. analyzer lets him take an action. Yeah. And then he's given away his stress if you're in range one, which then right. allows him to now have, an, I think, I might not be, I might be mistaken, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure that he's a tricksy player like that. But I mean, yeah. um, I've played against Mark a bunch of times too, and he actually likes to run pattern analyzer and optics on um, just red squad veterans. Yeah, he loves to do the, do it's the veterans. It's super yeah. nasty. Yeah. It's actually really, really, really good. Yeah. Well, looks like he's doing really no quarter. He's not going to give up any lanes to Fen, thinking he might be able to sloop, you know, just like sneak in here and get that out maneuver off. Oh, he's closing his foils. I think I see a barrel roll coming. Oh, so he's fainting out. He's saying, you know what, Han? You're uh -huh. not important. Let me take care nice. of Fen, and I could take care of Han after. Nice. To be fair, with one evade die, unless you're obstructed, you know... He, as long as he's got at least two ships left, I don't think he's super scared of that Han, mm -hmm. especially considering how mobile his ships are. Yeah. So committing to Fen here is yeah. is a pretty great call. Yeah. If they can catch him out in the open at yeah. range two. Which we saw last game, <laughs> is where is no game. bueno for Fen yeah, <laughs> For any does, game, really. He does not like that. Yeah, that is his nope territory. <laughs> yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see if Robin was fainting and he just like hards one with his Fen and kind of tucks him back around or yeah. he goes all in or if he was like relaxing like yeah i can just zip in here just pound on these little rz2s straight boost nice so this is also a good tactic to uh, you know newer players if you're watching something too sometimes you know that the faint you know make your opponent think you're going from one list one side of your list and then dive in on the other So Han's going to use Kira's ability to ignore the rock and just go one straight right over it. I wonder if he boosts now. Well, if he wants to be doing anything, like getting a nice juicy shot, but his, yeah, okay, his that makes arc sense. is apparently the wrong way, though. That's true. But I think what you'll see next turn now is a three bank for Han to get as close to that yeah. rock Yeah. With his with his bow ties set up. Ooh. Oh. And just cruising up there, trying to stay out of shots. So he has options. I think, I think I, I think you bank boost him. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I don't. He could really do anything, but he definitely does not want to be engaging in range two. So he's just thinking for next turn. Yeah. He sees what wants to keep his options because he doesn't want to close out any lanes with that rock there. Wants to be able to use that and keep all of his options, but Mark has set up a really good press. Yeah. For next turn. Yeah, because Tally can do a three bank in or even a two bank in challenge. Um, yeah. Greer can do a hard one, and then the X wings just do slow, Rebel special on well, you know, the one bank slow roll or the one forward, and they, there's not very much places yeah. for Fen to go. I don't know if, if Greer would be able to do the hard one. It might be oh, you're right. a little too close to that rock. You're right. It's probably a two bank or a hard two. You're right. The hard one's a little bit suspect. But still, it's taken up a lot of uh, real estate that Fen is just rather them not. Be. He is going for that. He is going for it. Making the best out of a bad situation. That's I think so. That's the words of the champ right there. Because he has two options. He can dive in or he can now put it in Mark's mind that maybe he's going to go ship right. So he yeah. can still two bank ship right and avoid that rock, or he can two bank in and just plow somebody. All right, so just measuring range, just to measure range. Yep, because he does still get to engage. He still gets to measure targets. Yeah. All right, unobstructed range three on Mr. Greer. Yep. Yeah. Out maneuver. Yeah. In effect. So when bank, right call. Wow. That's what you want to see. Yo. Okay. Uh oh yes, because out maneuver Takes he doesn't the one. get the extra. Yeah, because of out maneuver. Right. Loses a shield. If you're making an expensive Fen Rao, that's one way to try him. Yeah. I I would say he made the best of a bad situation for sure. Yeah. So now he's got to make the best of a bad situation this round. That is true. That is true. So the question is, does Fen... Fen's really only got a couple of options, right? He's gonna. He's got the two bank. He's got that two bank. Well, then he can boost. 
or he's got the really ballsy two forward <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. Well, um, he's got to watch out because those RZ twos are just going to get in the way. He doesn't want to get blocked, right? Yeah. Because a blocked fin is a dead fin. Yes. Especially when those two uh, T70s are sitting there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be at a range one yeah. of two T70s. That's a, that's a <laughs> lot of firepower. But then again, he also would be rolling four, four dice on defense with an auto evade, so... Yeah. Who knows? So what does Robin do with his Han is the question. Yeah, well, because if he, he wants to use those rocks to best ability, of course. Yes. Uh, without having to turn that, do the rotate action. Exactly. Yeah. So his, his, so his Han's abilities are looking like his options are going to be some sort of a two or three bank that way to yep. take advantage of these rocks for firing lanes yep, but I think, or two bank, three bank that way to do the same I with think, that rock there. I think up the middle is the way to go because it's going to be a safe area for Han to be. If he goes off off to the right, mm -hmm. he's going to be in a bad situation where he's going to be under fields of fire later on. And Han, right. especially if it's not an obstructed. He does not want to get shot yeah, at. Yeah. He does not. He does not right. like that, and he'll have nowhere to run. That's true. So I think Into the Rocks is where Han is, loves to be. So ship left is going to be his choice then. Absolutely. Okay. That does make the most sense. So if you're, if you're Robin, what do you do with your Fen right now? Fen has, yeah, uh, you just got to not get blocked. So two bank down and just escape. I think so. It's the safest bet. Go. Yeah. Which, if Mark plans for that, Yep. Greer goes two forward, rotates back for free, gets a focus. Tally hard two, ship left. Yep. And then both both X Wings bank yep. left, ship or, one. Or, you know, oftentimes. Uh, Split the difference. Ben Rao has just got to. Uh, Into the maw. Just do what he can do. Yeah. Just like go in, kill something. And he did that. You know, hope you chose well because. Yeah, because you're potentially sacrificing yeah. him. I mean, Mark could split, the, split his forces 50 50 to cover both angles. Yeah. He has that ability. He could do. He just slow roll in with the T-70s after the fact, and they just cover all that area. Because Nien, if Nien, and if both the T-70s just go one forward, they do cover both options. Yeah. And then all he would really have to do would be to, you know, bank Greer left, and then hard turn Tally left, and he, bank, he covers both angles again. Yeah. There we go. They're making choices, setting themselves on trajectories that mm -hmm. will <laughs> play out. I wonder. I wonder if he does something even cheekier. He does a, the white talon roll with the LO to the right to face down Han like a man. <laughs> Or whatever race I think he's gonna Ello save, is. I think he's going to save the, that trick for later. I think right now priority one is <laughs> bye-bye Fen Rao. Yeah. Because Han is going to be a long slog to uh, to chew through with all of his ridiculous beef. If he can, But if, if Mark can catch Han out in the open, it's actually not that ridiculous of a slog to burn oh, Han no, down. Not at all. But still, he's... Look at all of those hull points, and then the shields. That's and true. Also, the nose cone shields. Yeah. So, so Han's you, technically sitting on five shields. Yeah. He's like more beefy than a decimator, almost. Yeah. What is it? Decimator's eight hull, six shields. No, it's or more. ten hull. They're crazy. Twelve they're, hull. They're almost like a gazanti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, its name is the decimator. It should be decimatory, <laughs> if that's even a word, which I don't think it is, but it is now. <laughs> Travis looking at me with a look of disgust as I use <laughs> my elevated language skills to use words like decimatory right, on his stream. Looks like we're doing the hard two around the rock. I do like it. That blocks a two bank. It's just oh, focus rotate back. Rotate back. Okay. He's just gonna block and make the most of it. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense. He gets the free road. Oh, no. Sorry. All right. Open foils. Move a two. Yeah, he's just going to cover that whole area. Mm -hmm. 
One forward? Two straight as well. Just keeping okay. all the pressure on. Precise. Three straight from Tally. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. I think he might be doing a focus boost. Uh, oh, that's a surprising move right there. Mm -hmm. Well, the boost won't really help him now. I think Mark's second guessing himself at this point. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. It's, that might have looked a little bit different in his head. Yeah. Which it often does. Sometimes I'll find myself being yeah. like, oh, that's not as far as I expected. I think he's considering possibly uh, the barrel roll to block. <clears throat> to block Han. Oh, there you go. To, Good call. Or not to block Han, block Fen. The hard two. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Here it comes, but I don't think it's going to have the distance that he's wanting to be right where he wants it to be. He linked for a rotate. Is that what happened? I, yes, he must be. That's the only way that he would get the straight. Oh, no, he's. That makes sense. Yep. Doing the boost. Yeah. The red boost. Yeah, I don't think that gets the hard two covered. I think hard two is safe, but I don't think that. I wouldn't have thought that that would be the way to go. Yeah. But it's looking like. Too straight. Too straight. Feeling cautious into the maw of the beast. Well, he can choose after, yeah. And so now. The crazy thing is that Concordia face-off doesn't work on the on Greer, but that's okay because Greer's not firing at him. But yep. outmaneuver will work because his arc is faced backwards, so he's got a oh, five dice outmaneuver, outmaneuver shot. shot in the face. <laughs> Can he fit the barrel roll in though? Does he have Greer he at is, that range? He, yeah, he is outmaneuvering him because his arc is he turned his arc backwards. Yes, that's right. That's amazing yeah. about it. So that's yeah. potentially so that, the literal maybe, only weakness of an RZ2. Maybe he could barrel roll. Maybe that would be he's considering it. Yeah. Considering the barrel roll focus to not get shot by both of those T seventies. Yeah. So he's he that's he's what just, that's what yeah, so Robin's laboriously thinking about whether or not it fits. Fail that action. He doesn't want to be tokenless. No, absolutely not. Because on the fangs, you link the focus, not the reposition. Right. So he has to reposition first. And if he fails that barrel roll, no focus for Fen. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's just slightly off, failed action, mm -hmm. sad Fen. He's got range two of both of those T70s where he doesn't like being. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got the shot on the RZ2 outmaneuver. That RZ2 is probably having a bad time. I mean, I think I think Robin is debil uh, debating a reposition, but I think actually the best action here is literally just a focus. Yeah, and also and because also he's got the there's a rock right in front of him. Yeah, he's going to be rolling on that rock next turn if he does a stress maneuver. Yeah, yeah, I think he's either got to roll right. ship like right. Robin's, looks like Robin's going for it. I see him walking around the table, eyeballing all the angles. Robin is a very tall man, so mm -hmm. he's getting the aerial view yeah. of the situation. Can confirm you taller players always <laughs> seem to be better. You guys got a better advantage than us short guys. You can lean over a ship without having to jump on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. wow. Look at this. Interesting. So he's going to put Fen into range two of two ships. He's given up the range one shot. Yeah. Just because that rock was just too not a good spot. It's true. The next turn. That's, yeah. All right. So link for focus. So here we go. Three bank. I'm big As on. you called it. As you called it. Yeah. He doesn't want to be up there. He's going to get his nice, juicy six dice attack. Because <laughs> he gets... He has two base. Yep. He's got two for he gets one for trick shot, yep. one for Han's ability. Yep. And stressed. Yep. So that's five. Yes. Five. If he can, but I think he can potentially draw a line of sight onto Greer from and missing the rock. Yeah. 
But he can't get that six dice because he's not range one. Yeah. That's where that six dice comes from, but still. Uh, so Fen blanks out. Wow. Way to go, Fen. He's not going to spend the focus on that. Definitely not. Two seven, two, <laughs> two of eights. Here goes Han. Here's the money shot. Oh, he's just going to do a little conservative two dice pea shoot. I always go for the big heavy hits. He's decided to take the range to an LO instead. Just for a little conservative two dice attack. Well, I, th I see what, I think he's hoping to strip focus. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, but I can't resist it. I just want to go for the big shots every time. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he he's going for it. He's taking the bait. So it's, right. it's an unobstructed, unobstructed range three. Unobstructed, sad. Oh, so you can use the dog shuttle ability. Crazy. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, because it's part of the shuttle's ability. Yep. The part of the card that you never read. And that's why always you that's why you always take a focus on an RZ. Hmm, Ryan tried to, uh, Robin tried to make something from nothing there. He almost got it, uh, damage through on Greer. Yeah. So LO now through the rock. Oh, yeah. Oh. Fenrau Ooh. takes two. Pop so had he, oh. if he had stayed where he would, Mark would have had an additional attack die, but Robin would have been guaranteed at least one evade and would yeah. have been rolling the same amount of dice. Yeah. <clears throat> and a half. And nine would also have been through a rock. Yeah. Focus for two. Yeah. Looks like one and more And one more through. through. Yep. There's, that's Fen Rao for you, folks. Yep. True Promises to force. so much, but delivers yeah. very little often. Doesn't doesn't cash those checks. Go, I'd like to cash this, Fen. <laughs> yeah, sorry, not right now. It's okay. Come back next week. So I think if Robin watches the back, I think he might have wanted to go with the two bank ship right and then bank boost it into range one mm -hmm. of nine yep. or just sat where he was. But then he couldn't have sat where he was because the next turn rock would have been problematic for him. So I understand where he, the predicament so that he like was in. setting dials again. I, they totally just ignored the Greer shot back at Han, but that's okay. Missed opportunity. Not Missed our place opportunity, to say. Chose not to engage. Yep. Setting dials. Moving yep. on. Realistically, with Han, with his... It would have been two dice. Two dice, yeah. Oh, no, does he get to roll an additional one for the stress? No, he doesn't That's only on that. attack. Yeah, it's only an yeah. attack, but he would... Oh, and Robin, remind, and Robin just reminded him. Well, like a gentleman, yep. he's going back. He's and that's very kind. He takes his Robin shot. insisting that he takes the shot, like a true Absolutely. gentleman and a champ. That's our champ. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we just started laughing, the reason why we just started laughing is that we're showing Dengar came up. <laughs> and so Robin, maybe not being a true gentleman, but being a true champion, yeah. and realizing that he had an opportunity to use his card's abilities, and reminding his opponent to fire just so he could <laughs> Dengar him. That was lovely. So that's two, <laughs> that's two <laughs> probably. That's an additional damage on Greer and Mark saying, I probably shouldn't have shot you. <laughs> <laughs> know it better next time. Yeah, exactly. but You can shut that down with a focus token, but still. Right. You could sacrifice still, a it's, focus. It's hilarious. That was great. Uh, yeah, well, he had to use the focus on the defense. So actually. Yeah. That was, yep. Yeah. And Robin saying that's the very first time he's used Dengar. Yeah, well, yeah. Dengar is a strong card. Yeah, so it's the old uh, pain bot, yeah, but just a modified, better little, version of it. Yeah, well, it's got an out, right? It's not an automatic. You yeah. can shut it off. Well, stripping your opponent's focus is always good. Yeah. And uh, not having the damage yourself to do so is also always good. Yeah. Six points is a good point. A good is a good value for that card, I think. But there's not a lot of ships that can take advantage of it. Well, yeah. Has well, anybody put Dengar on Boba yet? Yeah, you, yeah well, you can, but I mean, it, the cost is hot. For Han, right? It's just mm -hmm. the opportunity of that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it, it can take it. It can go on. Like there's a lot, actually, a lot of scum ships that could take that card. Mm -hmm. uh, so Cavill, like the Y wings. Oh yes, the Y's, the Y V six. The party bus. Six. Yes, yeah, the party bus can take it. 
There's a, we've seen a couple of the uh, staplers out there on the field. I want to see someone bring some Morallos to tournament and just <laughs> disappear and show back up again. Shenanigans. Yeah, so this is interesting. Yeah, Fenn's down to one. That's how he lives his life. That's how he lives and dies. Mm -hmm. I think you keep all the pressure on. You um, You obviously hard to tally. Her, her, her arc is playing the right direction, so you hard to her. Yeah. And you focus, and you either bank boost or stay where you are. You hard to with Greer if it fits. Which it no, might not. He might be using. He's already turned. So I reckon he gets free arc turns. So he's probably going to be just turning away. Yeah, because yeah, I think you, yeah you get hard to agree right ship right. Yeah, and then just focus. T the seventies get to do their T seventy things. Well, yeah. So Nian four mm, K won't fit. Can't pass off a stress. So he's not going to do it there. If Nien was Elo, that'd be a great place for a free Talon roll, <laughs> a white Talon right there. Yeah. And I wonder if Elo is going to Talon out to ship right so that he could start putting guns on Han. Because Han's going to have to leave the safety of that rock yeah. to do anything this yeah. turn. It's going to be a really crowded little corner there in a mm -hmm. second. All right, our wounded A-wing running off to lick its wounds and try to survive. Mm -hmm. Just keep the guns pointed on. Oh, nine is Taloning. All right, rock and roll. And an R9 pattern analyzer. Mm -hmm. Bam. Does the focus. Yeah, so he is doing the his free right talent, his white white talent roll. Beauty. Yep, just spreading it around. Very patient player. Yeah. Just setting it up, just setting it up, not giving up ground. Yeah. Nice. Super logical. Makes sense. Arc's already pointing in the right direction. Yeah. So, Fen, if he just took it slow and easy, didn't get all freaked out. Actually, you know what? He's he... in a probably good spot. I was going to say, focus, attempt, bank boost left is what I would try to do, too. I think he fits. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. Fail. Doesn't look like it. No bueno. I, it looked like it might have fit, and it was yeah, it makes sense. Possible. I mean, yeah, everything in ours that does clear yeah. stress, anyways. So yeah. it's not like it was a huge loss. Not at all. So okay, nicely oh, done. Oh, the three straight. So nine nubs talon roll blocked him. Okay, yeah, this crash. But you know, all he's really got shooting at him is a couple of RZ two. So he'll probably die now. <laughs> so that two forward. The two forward would have been, would have the money. been real nasty. Would have been the money, but he was just trying to get out of there. So it's up to you, Han Solo. Yeah. Robin is very unimpressed at Mark for not just going one forward like he should have. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a T65 move right there. These yeah. are T70s. Yeah. Especially those two T70s. All right, here comes Han. Yeah, so his Han is sad that he... Yeah, because if that was... At least he would have gotten an yeah. extra evade for Han's ability. Oh, sorry, no, the, the shuttle's the attack dice. The shuttle's ability. Uh, the title. Yes, the title. The title gives yes, him an yes, extra the attack dice. The title's ability, yeah. stressed ships. Yeah. He's just considering his options, and now he's in a not good spot because those T-70s can just lay it on him in that nice clear area where Han has nowhere to hide. Yeah, that uh, the Talon roll from Nine, nine was inspired... Nicely done. 
He's got all these arcs pointed in the right direction. He's got two arcs on Fen, two arcs on Han. Robin not liking it at all. Yeah, I don't blame him. Right, it's a rough, tough spot for him. Go over the uh, players' other lists. So okay. Robin's other lists are this is his scum version. He's also playing a crazy resist or a rebel version, pairing up with Jake, the mm -hmm. Han Jake, and then he's got the uh, resistance version, which is bananas, mm -hmm. and he's uh, pairing it up with the uh, flying hide a bed. Uh, Oh, yeah, Ova that's right. Nell in the Resistance Transport. Mm. That would have been an interesting list to see, too. And then Mark over here, his other lists are... He's doing his uh, uh, 4T70s. So he's doing Bastion, Pava, and two Red Squadron experts. I like that list. And then he's going into unfamiliar territory here, playing Rebels <laughs> with three Blue Squadron experts, or... Oh, he's just keeping it Blue Squadron themed here. He's got two B-Wings, two X-Wings, and Kraken. I like that list, too. It's a blue salad. Yeah. That's interesting. Blue Squad holding it down. I really like that list. All right, Hans focusing for two. And the... Oh, look at that. And yeah, that's a dead Fen. Yeah. Who rolled double a focus, double blink. Yep. That's how Fen... Rolls. That's yep. that's fan life. Yes, we're seeing a lot of fan life on the stream today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a popular pilot. Yeah, cock die reroll. Ooh, two Ooh. hits and a crit. One. On. Oh, he's. So Robin off. electing to hold on to the shuttle shields. Until as long he really as he needs can, them, yeah, because it's an option. It makes sense. That's a smart play as well. Gets those nasty crit. He's like, yeah. oh, I think I'll take some shield damage yeah. on my shuttle. Oh, nice. So he's flipping. Um, he has L three on. Right. Okay. Elite. Yeah. Great card. And then the configuration just makes Han bananas. So all of his banks turn blue. <laughs> Not that he really stresses himself that much. But... Ooh, direct. Oh. Oh, he missed his opportunity to Dengar over there. Yes, because the Dengar option, the only so Dengar hard. option was available was Elo. But he could also just spend the focus token to negate it. So yes. not really a big deal. And he didn't need it for the attack, so... Yeah, so uh, been all for nothing. Hot fire round for Mark there. He put yeah. out a ton of damage. Yeah. A fistful. He What did he, he did? Three, four, five, six, seven damage. To, he yeah. did seven damage to Han with two attacks. <laughs> yeah. With six dice. Nuts. So uh, that's a hell of a return of investment for him. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got half paints on a ship that's not even on the board. Yeah, so Lando had L3, right? Just yeah. To make sure. He's got L3. Okay. And so, yeah. It's not on the list. Oh, that's the difference. He, I get it now. So Robin talking about how this is one of the harder lists to fly because he's right. The Kira lock was imperative for him to... He's running into the Jaws of Doom and he that rock is problematic for him. So he was forced into target locking as opposed to a focus or an evade yep. or a boost or anything like that because yep. he needs the locks kind of where he needs them to be ahead. This, this Han is very difficult to fly. Yeah. It's because Han needs a lot of support. Yeah. Han needs a lot of, lot of support to do the things that he can do. Yeah. Live up to his potential and Fenrau doesn't deliver that. Fenrau kills things. So yes. that's how his support is to kill people before they kill you. But hey, guess what? Fen also just drops like a brick house. But, yeah, he can, absolutely. <laughs> so 
So it's sort of cleanup crew time for Mark's oh, yeah. side of the force. I mean, oh, Elmo's yeah. going to one bank. Yeah, Nian's just gonna, going to one bank. Oh, yeah. He's just got to point the guns over there and cover that rock. It's a series <laughs> of hard twos, maybe a hard one. Yeah. It's, just keep the guns firing. Han will just burn up. Hmm. Focus, I'll, rotate? I wonder no. why he didn't uh, hard one free Greer rotate focus boost. Well, I think he just wants to deny the points because we're at the point when... Elo is just going to go back and forth from position to position. Yeah. <laughs> They'll just teller roll back again next time. I totally did not see that teller roll coming. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that one bank coming. Yeah, I think we <laughs> all did. Yeah, but that's but actually definitely... a brilliant teller roll, though, because he's blocking that escape. Yeah, and he's definitely covering that rock. Yeah. Which is where oh, he knows. Bank. Here we go. Just covering all the area, denying Han anywhere to go. Just saying, anywhere you go, I'm going to shoot you. Yeah, you got no escape. No yeah. escape for you, Han Solo. Yeah. You might see that escape craft sooner After, than we thought. Yeah. <laughs> for maximum disrespect, if he, if he <laughs> takes a crit and ejects with a direct hit, that'd be super sad. Yep. Yeah, no, he's like, look at this. Oh, does he actually fit? Yep. Oh wow. So can he? Now he can now boost go. on the rock. Yeah, now he can boost on the rock. Yeah. But he's with that. Uh, Ello's there, just saying that's that's fine. It's going for the boost, yeah. but it's not going to help. Too much. A little bit. He'll lo little he'll bit. He might die. Yeah, he'll dodge. Uh, he'll get the Nien's. trick shot going on. Let's see if he gets the trick shot going on. Okay. So that'll give him what he needs from yeah. Frallo's defense. Actually, he dodged two out of three arcs there. So that's. Yeah. And, well, two out of four, but. And he's set up to do the, the big nasty punch now. Yeah. Oh, he's just lamenting that the talent is not red. That is true. That could have been a max. The, the, could have been the he'll six, get five instead of six. Six die dream shot. Yes, that makes sense. Straight dice. There it is. And he's able to do that because of Kira. Yep. Range one. This card comboing it up over here. So that is just about the dream shot. The five dice. With no he needs locks. some hot fire here. Uh, oh, it's looking pretty good. Okay. Using Lando's pilot ability. Oh, yeah. that sucks. So two hits. Out it's of too all bad that. his Han didn't have Han Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be a balance issue there. So he's just going to focus. So and takes gonna be, zero damage. Yeah, but now Dengar yeah. can activate. He doesn't care. One damage is like, that's fine. Yeah, he's got it to spare. All right, so Han gets double. So three dice, three dice defense yep. from Han. Can't All get a, eyeballs. He can't get a result. And he's just going to Dengar. There's Dengar. An eyeball, nothing yeah. doesn't happen. This takes us two, bam, bam. Han's down to four. So this is the thing with Han without the actions. It's really, it's yeah. it sometimes feels very sad. Yeah, yeah. You do even want sometimes to have a second escape shell just falling around to pass those actions. Yeah, honestly. So that's that's FFG's incentive to buy a second YT or borrow scout. from somebody else. Or borrow from your pal. Mark continuing to do damage on yeah, every single attack. And and this is, it on. this has definitely been a bit of a snowball effect here. Yep. And unfortunately for him, I think it's all but foregone. Greater does two or a three forward. Oh, I suspect some more socks and sandals in the house. Out there on the field, yep. So I think, yeah, Greer does probably actually maybe a three. Yes. Arc is always backwards, just a focus. Yeah. Ella's going to do a one bank. It's just clean up at this point. Yeah. And I mean, you know, he... 
tried his best to put himself where he needed to be, yeah. but. Now they're doing the ultra meta math at the table, just figuring their standings. Yes, because some of the four and twos will make it, but Robin su successfully identifying this is a difficult yeah, but you know, game for him that for MLB. Is, that's the fun though of the PTL Open, where we uh, there's a lot of fun happening if you're not in the cut. So this afternoon, oh we're yeah, be doing team epic or no we're epic free for two, all two epic events. There's going to be one one on a six by three, and then after that we're doing. On a three by three or the other way around? I think right. It's three by three event, or and then after that it's a six by three. So lots of lots of good times happening regardless. It's uh, yeah, fantastic that we can uh, put these kind of events on. But also, I mean, you know, kudos for Robin for bringing three yeah, on lists, for sure. and he's you know. He was yeah. four and one up to this point. Yeah. So it's not exactly an easy feat to do either with with a <laughs> two ship list out there with so many people bringing six and seven ships. Yeah. There you go. He's out of tricks. He's got one more trick though. Flying off the board on his own terms. Three bank <laughs> ship left. No one will see that coming. What the uh, emergency deployment happened there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, they come out, it comes out the front, doesn't it? It comes out of either the every, front every, or the back. Okay. All right. Mm. Oh, now they're super gentlemanly. Allowing Robin, uh, yeah. uh, Robin is Mark's giving Robin the uh, big cargo shoot if he wants it. That's not in his list because he <laughs> didn't have the token. Right? Like, oh, is that okay. why? Yeah, I could have given him one. I think I have two well, or three. You know, he didn't ask. He didn't ask. That's but, what we have a Discord for. Yeah, to support each other. So it looks like. Looks like Mark's going for the juggler right now. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's got to. He's putting him out of his misery. So, yeah. you know, that's nice of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rather than this is where we do it out. This is where Robin does something super spicy and oh no, never mind. Resist uh Scum Hunt doesn't have a hard one, does he? Uh I think it might I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's the modified right. one that has it. Yeah, I just do a four straight. I just yeah. get out of there. I just this is over. <laughs> He's going to look for a slightly more MOV. Yeah, I think so. With this last shot before he goes down in flames. If he can get half points on anything, anything will help at this point. Although he's just pumping out a two die attack. Well, three die attack if it's Ray Cargo Shoot or that stress guy. Mm -hmm. But still, he's, cons he's just weighing his, he's just accepting his fate at this point. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. Okay, so that gives him arc. All right, he's going for the wounded On. Y. I mean, wounded A. So looks like he's going after Greer. Yep. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. There we go. And it looks like... And now, no. if if Greer fires back, he can kill him with Dinger. <laughs> that is true. That would be a spicy scum way to go. Of course, he still has to survive three other five <laughs> I five shots first, which could happen. Or Mark could yeah, just continue. Could just, yeah, just roll. Just continue to just say, roll those dice. I'm just going to destroy you with these T-70s. All right, and that's and it. Take you apart. <laughs> 
So, all right, thanks so much. That's the end of the Swiss.